Hey, it's Nathan Williams with Careers and Marketing. In this video, we're gonna talk about boosting posts on Facebook, and I'm also gonna show you another way to boost posts that gives you a little bit more options and flexibility. So we've got a lot to cover. Let's go ahead and just get into it. So I am using the new Facebook, and if you don't aren't using the new Facebook, but you still wanna follow along, you just click the little menu option here, and you'll see an option that says like switch to classic Facebook or and alternatively switch to new Facebook. So if you're using the old Facebook and it looks like this and you wanna switch over, you just click the little menu option up here and you can go ahead and switch to new Facebook and then you'll have the same screen as myself. So anyway, to boost posts, you go to your Facebook page, right? And you'll see this option here underneath your posts that say boost post. And you know, like every post you have will say boost post under it. And in order to boost a post, you simply click on that button and it gives you some options here. And so we'll kind of go through the options together and I'll explain what they mean and you know the best choices and all that type of stuff. Now, first things first, you do wanna make sure that you are using the correct ads account. So click this little drop down menu and make sure you're selecting the right ads account. And that's if you have more than one ads account. If, if you only have one ad account, then that's probably the one it's pulling from. But just double check this drop down menu to make sure you're using the correct ads account. All right, then the first question it asks you, of course, is what is the goal of your you boosting this post? So it could be to get more messages or get more website purchases or more engagement or also get more website visitors. Now for me personally, this is a link over to a YouTube video. So I wanna go ahead and get more website visitors. I want people to click on it and go visit the website. But of course, select what's relevant to you. Coming on down here, we, we can also go ahead and add a button to our post. So of course, go ahead and select what's relevant. So we might go with learn more in my particular case, but there's also like book now, shop now, sign up, send message, send WhatsApp message, or you could go with no button if you want to. So personal preference, I'm going to learn more. And then to ask us if we are in a special ad category. And so ads about credit, employment, housing, or social issues, elections, or politics. And so if you select this option here, you have to go ahead and select you know which category you're in and it'll limit some of your targeting options down here when you're selecting your audience. And you know that's because they don't want you to like racially profile or do anything discriminatory or anything like that. So if you're in any of these categories, make sure you're, you're ethical and doing the right thing and select the appropriate categories. And then moving on down here, we get into the audience of who we want to see our ads. And this is where boosting ads really lacks. Um, there's not very many targeting options. And so my recommendation is if you do wanna boost a post, the only time you might wanna do it is when you're boosting it to people who like your page already. So that way you're boosting it to people that are already you know, on your page, already like your page and know who you are, what you represent, all that type of stuff. If you're trying to like discover new people, new audiences and all that type of stuff, like boosting posts really isn't the right way to do it. The next method that I show you is the right way I would recommend doing it. So we'll cover that in a few minutes here. But the targeting options are just so limited. So I hesitate to point anybody trying to attract new people to their page by using the boost post button. But just for example, we could go ahead and click in here and we can go ahead and select some very basic settings for your audience like gender, age, location, and then you can do a little bit of interest targeting with the options down here. And again, it's not very flexible and it's not very good at all. You, you, and you wind up targeting very, very broad audiences and it's just not very good for bringing new people in. So again, I don't recommend uh, trying to bring in cold traffic using the boost post button. But if you do wanna do it for people who like your page, you know, boost post is great because it's very easy to do. You just go in there, click boost post, and you see there's only a few options to go ahead and do. So you can do it to people who like your page. So you, you know, you make sure people see all your posts and all that stuff. So that this is where it's a good option. Um, coming on down here, we get into duration. So depending how frequently you post, you might wanna do a duration for you know how, how long between each post or between each post you're boosting to people. So maybe you post like every three days or something like that. So then you go ahead and set your duration for three days. Or alternatively, you could go ahead and select an end date and it'll automatically calculate the number of days. And then the number or the total budget, you'd wanna go ahead and select what you're comfortable spending. And this really comes down to who you're targeting. So if you're targeting people who like your page, like it depends how big your page is. If you got, you know, tens of thousands of people or hundreds of thousands of people, you might spend, you know, maybe a hundred bucks or something like that boosting a post. Or if you're on a smaller page, like I think I have 1500 people or so liking my page, you now I might spend five or $10 and you know, that'd be reasonable enough to reach the bulk of my, my audience. 
And Facebook gives us an estimated daily results right here. So with a $10 budget for over three days, they estimate 37 to 107 people seeing my post. And then I could, you know, let's see if I spent $20. So it goes to 38 to 110. So, you know, I'm not getting much more people by spending 10 extra dollars. Like it doesn't make much sense to spend that much more money. So you kind of play around with this little dial here and you can kind of find the sweet spot. Maybe you wanna try and reach 100 people a day. So maybe $8 is good for my particular audience size and all that type of stuff. So, you know, you can play with it. Like, would it be worth spending $1,000 a day? No, probably not. I'm not gonna get that many more results than if I spend $8 a day. So you can play around with the dial, you know, do what makes sense here. Coming back down, we got placements now. So you can show or choose where you wanna show your ads. So we got Facebook, Messenger, Instagram, etc. And a lot of this comes down to who you're targeting again. So if you're targeting people who already like your page, you probably wanna show your ads everywhere to these people. So, you know, wherever they are, they might see you. Whereas if you're targeting cold traffic, uh, you might you might not wanna include Messenger. Uh, you might wanna only do Facebook and Instagram or maybe just Facebook by itself or wherever you think your audience hangs out. And as you notice, it does update my people reach. So if I turn on Instagram, you see I reach a few more people. So something you wanna pay attention to. Um, you wanna go ahead and select your Facebook pixel, of course, so that way you can go ahead and track conversions and all that type of stuff. So make sure you select your pixel. And if you don't have your pixel set up and configured, I have a video down below on how to do that. And then we'll go ahead and scroll up to the top real quick. And so this gives us a preview of what our ad will look like right here. And we can also go ahead and click see all previews and it'll show us you know, previews of our ad and the various devices and placements and all that stuff. So we got desktop news feed. And if we scroll on down, we got mobile news feed and desktop marketplace and mobile marketplace and, all, and so on. So you can go ahead and make sure your ad looks okay on these different uh, devices and placements. And you're like, okay, yeah, it looks fine. And you know, if it doesn't look good, like on Instagram or something like that, go ahead and turn off Instagram placements, right? Makes some sense. And so once you're happy with everything, you just come on down here to boost post now, and it goes ahead and submits your ad right here. And it gives us a little summary of what's going on. And then we can go ahead and go to ad center to check out our ad and see how it's doing. Alternatively, we could come into the ads manager and do some stuff in here. And that's what I want to talk about right now. And so here I am in my ads manager and I see I have a campaign that is in review. And so this is my boosted post that I just went ahead and set up. And so I could come into here, I could go ahead and edit it and edit my budget and all that stuff. So just like a normal ad, I could go ahead and you know change around from my ads manager if I want to. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off because I don't actually want to run it as an ad at this point in time. And now I wanna show you the other way to boost a post. And this is the way that I, I recommend because there's a lot better targeting options, especially if you're going after cold traffic. Like if you're boosting it to people that already like your page, then boost, boost post is fine. Like you can use it for that because it's easy to do. But if you're going after cold traffic, I recommend doing this method instead. So what we wanna go ahead and do is we go ahead and create a campaign just like normal. And I'll just say like demo boost. And also note real quick that I am using quick creation. You can do it in guided creation if you want to. Um, that's fine, it works in both places. But if you wanna follow along with my screen and you're in this type of screen, just click this switch to quick creation screen and you'll pop over to a screen that looks like mine. So anyway, we have demo boost. So campaign name, then we go ahead and select our objective. And if you don't know anything about objectives, I have another video on you know selecting objectives. I'm just gonna go for traffic because I want people to click on my ad. I'm not gonna mess with A-B tests or campaign budget optimization. Ad set name, I'll, just, I'll set it as the name of my ad so that way I can keep things organized. So let's say I wanna go ahead and boost my Facebook targeting strategy ad. So I'll just say Facebook targeting strategy. And then for the ad name, I'll just say ad because I'm only gonna have one ad in this particular ad set. So let's go ahead and save to draft now. And now we're at the campaign settings and I'm gonna leave the default settings. Come on down here into the ad set settings. And so this is where I could go ahead and configure my targeting options. And I have another video training on targeting. So if you need help with your targeting, I go ahead, watch that video as well. But I can also set my budget. So you know if I wanted to do $12, and I could go ahead and choose my start date and end date. So that way, you know, I'm running it for three days or whatever I wanna go ahead and do, just like when you're setting up your boosted post. And then you come down here and this is where you go ahead and configure your audience. But you see there's a lot more options here. It's not just selecting age and gender and stuff, but you can get into selecting custom audiences. You can go ahead and exclude custom audiences as well. Um, 
Then there's a lot more detail targeting as well. So demographics, interest, behavior, so you can get into exclusions and all sorts of other stuff. Again, I have a video on targeting, so if you need help with targeting, please watch that. I don't wanna cover it right here uh, because I already covered it in another video and went into a lot of details over there. So check that out. Uh, coming on down here, we could also do some different things with placements. Instead of just saying like uh, Facebook or Instagram, we can go ahead and choose individual placements if we want to. So we could get into manual placements and choose if we want to put it on Facebook newsfeed, Instagram feed, Facebook marketplace, etc. So you can come in here and you can select like where you do and don't want your ad to be shown. So that's very handy and it gives you a lot more flexibility. Uh, moving on down here, you could also do it based off of different devices and so on. So a lot of different options for you to go ahead and choose that you don't have available to you when you just click that boost post button. Now coming on here to your ad, so how do we actually boost the, the particular ad? So we need to come over to our post and this is the one I wanna go ahead and boost. And I wanna go ahead and hover over this time frame, and I'm gonna go ahead and hit control and open it in a new tab, or you could also right click on it and open in a new tab if you want to. And the reason we're doing that is because we're trying to get this number right here. This is the post ID number. So if you can get that number, copy it, come back over to your ads manager. We go ahead and select our identity, so Facebook page. We could go ahead and select our Instagram account if you have that connected as well. And then under ad setup here, we wanna go ahead and select use existing post. So click that option, and then we come on down here to enter post ID right here. And then you throw in that post ID and you hit submit. And so there we go, it automatically pulled in the post that I had made on my Facebook page. And I can also go ahead and add a button here. So I could add a, or learn more button. And there's a few more options in here than the boost post option. So I could do like download, which wasn't available on the boost post option, contact us, um, listen now, I don't think was available and so on. So there's a few other options for your buttons. I'm still gonna use learn more. And I could also go ahead and customize the website URL that I wanna send people to. So I'd go ahead and send them over to the, my video. So that way they could go ahead and watch my video on YouTube and so on. On. So then I come down here, make sure I go ahead and turn on my Facebook pixel, and then I'd go ahead and publish my ad. And so that right there is the way I recommend boosting a post, especially when you're going out to cold traffic. Again, the boost post button on your page is fine for boosting it to people that already like your page and like your business. But if you're going after cold traffic, come in through the ads manager. I know it could be a little bit more intimidating, but there's a lot of training on it. I have a lot of training. I'll link it down below so you can learn a little bit more about the ads manager, but it's worth learning how to do better targeting and optimizations and all that type of stuff because it's just gonna improve your results. And so that's it for this video. I hope that you found it helpful. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask down below. I'm here to help you out. And if you did find this video helpful, I appreciate any sorts of likes, comments, subscribes, anything like that, and I hope you have a great rest of the day.